If I told you that the most comfortable office chair I've ever used is actually the reason for almost a decade of back pain, you'd probably call me a liar. But that's exactly what happened to me, and it's all because of the thick seat pad on the chair. The chair we're talking about is the Nightingale CXO. I can remember seeing the CXO for the first time at a trade show in Chicago called Neocon. This was around 2009, 2010, and back then, Neocon Chicago was massive. I was still fairly new to the office chair industry just because we had only been selling them for around four years at that point. But one thing I had quickly learned is that high-end office chairs aren't as comfortable as you might think when you first sit down in them. Before seeing these high-end chairs in person, I had assumed that sitting in something like the Aeron or Leap would feel like heaven, and it would be the most comfortable thing I had ever touched. That wasn't my experience. And it makes sense. They aren't designed that way. They don't have overly thick padding and pillow top everything. It has been shown through a ton of research that thin, firm seat pads are best suited for long-term sitting in office chairs. This is backed by the godfather of ergonomics, Alan Hedge, who led the charge at Cornell to educate people on office ergonomics. His studies have shown that a seat pad thickness of one and a half to two inches that is firm in the back and less so in the front is best for long-term sitting comfort. He specifically says that a soft seat may be comfortable at first, but as the body sinks into the cushion, circulation lowers and compression increases. I had been following these principles using a leather ergohuman at the time. It's a very nice chair and I wasn't uncomfortable in it, but it didn't wow me. Sitting in the CXO at Neocon was different. Here was a high-end chair that felt like a tank from a reputable brand with a good warranty. It had a nice recline, multi-way arms, and a comfortable headrest. But the thing that set it apart was the seat. It had a thick, plush, memory foam-like seat that allowed you to sink into it. It was the most comfortable seat I had ever sat in and was the first high-end chair I had found with a soft, thick seat pad. I was in love with this thing. We ended up meeting with Nightingale, becoming an authorized dealer, and they sent us a CXO. The chair arrived at our office, and I used it for almost the next decade. If I stopped the video here, you'd have a pretty good promo for the CXO chair. Unfortunately, there's a catch. While I had found the most comfortable ergonomic chair, I didn't realize that it was going to slowly destroy my back. Remember the part about Allen Hedge and not sitting in thick foam? Up until this time, I wasn't a person with back issues, but over the course of the next several years, while using the CXO, I was constantly having back problems. I was getting massages all the time, I threw out my back a couple times, one of them being so bad at our office that Greg had to help me to my wife's car. This resulted in a lot of physical therapy, more massages, the whole nine yards. Telling the story now makes it seem like it should be obvious. Just switch the chair. But here's the kicker. I never once thought about the chair as being the problem because it was so comfortable. Sitting in the CXO was always comfortable, so I never thought that something that felt so good would actually be the thing that was destroying me. Fast forward to around 2019, when we really got into ordering all of the high-end chairs. We decided that we wanted to be actual experts on the entire office chair market, and to do so, we needed all the chairs. We invested thousands of dollars into these chairs, and I finally had access to products like the Leap, Gesture, Amia, Aeron, Embody, Mira. Getting all of these new chairs also meant that I needed to get out of my CXO. This was kind of a chore for me because none of them had seats like the CXO, but I bit the bullet and started using them. The switch was not easy for me. It was actually quite painful, and I kept just going back to the CXO until I finally decided that I was just going to dive in, pick one chair, and sit in it for a month straight. That chair was the Steelcase Leap. The first two weeks were horrible. My back hurt, my butt hurt, and I did not look forward to going into work to sit in that chair. But by week three, the pain started to fade away, and by week four, I was really liking the chair. The thin seat design with the added movement, the extra mobility in the back, it was really comfortable for me to use. It really just took quite a while for my body to adjust to a proper ergonomic sitting position and a properly designed seat. I continued to sit in the leap, and after about four months, I realized that I was not having any back issues. The leap ended up becoming my daily driver. In the last four years, we've continued to bring in high-end chairs from the majors. When we say majors, we mean the three major office seating brands, Miller Knoll, Hayworth, and Steelcase. I'll also throw Flock in there too, 
They're a European brand that makes chairs like the Hog Line, and we have a couple of those models as well. Between these brands, we have almost 30 different models, and every single one of them has a thin seat pad with a firm sitting experience. And more importantly, none of them have an ergonomic chair with a thick seat pad. These brands are billion dollar companies that pour unbelievable sums of money into research and development. They don't need to save a few bucks by having a thinner seat pad on a chair that they're gonna sell for $1,000 or more. They follow the research, and the research shows that thick pads are a poor choice for long-term sitting. Our data at BTOD also corroborates this. We sell refurbished Leap and EMEA chairs with free returns. They average about a 5 to 6% return rate. The seat being uncomfortable is only a portion of these returns. Most people return the chair because of fit issues. There's a tiny percentage of people that return their Leap or EMEA because they're unhappy with the seat, and it's probably even lower than that if you were to purchase a brand new one direct from Steelcase. The vast majority of people will be happy with a high quality thin seat pad that's designed to be used for 8 plus hours a day. That includes me. Over all of these years of testing these thin, firm seat pads, I will never go back to a thick cushion like the CXO and experience the problems that I had for almost a decade.